Good morning, YouTube. So with today's video, I'm gonna give you five great sea salty marine fragrances that are just perfect for the hot summertime. Now, this list here will be both designer and niche. You're gonna have a couple of cheapies. You're gonna have, I don't wanna say one higher end designer because it's, you know, it's discontinued, but you can still get it here and then it's just gonna cost you a little bit more money with two niche ones. But let's start off with a cheapie and that's gonna be Original Penguin, Original Blend. So this has marine notes, sea salt, lime, violet leaf, peppermint, musk, driftwood, and so on. It's a great high heat banger, and you could pick this up at like Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Burlington Coat Factory, any of these discount stores in the States, but every now and then you can also pick this up at Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada, but these are available on pretty much all the gray market websites. But just very fresh, very marine, very sea salty, with a lot of musk and a shit ton of lime. Absolutely fantastic. This will just leave that pep to your step. When it's hot, this will help you get through your day. Let's go with the next one, and that's gonna be Bulgari Putum Aquamarine. So this is the designer that is discontinued and a little bit more expensive. So with this one here, you're gonna get a beautiful, and I mean an outstanding, beautiful, green salty seaweed. There's marine notes, there's neroli, I believe some sage, a little bit of citrus, some pettigrain, some amber, and so on. But what it pretty much is, just a very green salty seaweed with some marine notes, some saltiness, some citrus with a little bit of a woody nuance. This reminds me of two places, San Diego, but as well Miami. So I have to correct my, like I have to be very specific when it comes to Miami because I don't know if it's South Beach or Miami Beach. It's a prime tour spot all year round. It's, it's well kept and everything, but some of these side beaches, uh, I don't know if that's really the word, but like some of these hidden gems such as Virginia Beach in Miami. It's like a historical area. A lot of the beaches, the seaweed was just washed up on the shore, including San Diego. So this fragrance reminds me of those times. It's a great high heat banger. And just, if you love, like if you want, not love, if you want or are looking for a really nice salty seaweed fragrance, this is one that you might wanna check out before it's too late. Let's go with a niche, and this is a travel spray. It's not a full bottle because they are quite expensive. This one is a very well-loved fragrance from this brand. Joe Malone Sea Salt and Sage, I believe it's called. But just a lot of sea salt, a lot of seaweed. Sage, there's musk, and including like, I think it's grapefruit or lemon, but it's very, very smooth. It smells expensive. It smells like the most natural fragrance in this video, I gotta state, but just beautiful. And I can understand why that this is one of the more popular ones from this brand. This brand, I haven't really taken a deep dive just because they're a little bit expensive and my channel for the most part is for the everyday guy. So designers and cheapies. But this one here, I really enjoy. And this kind of reminds me of both Miami Beach and as well, San Diego. But it also reminds me of Hawaii. So my wife and I, we've been there twice. We've been to multiple beaches. A lot of their beaches are kept, like well kept. There's a few like hidden gems, a few secluded beaches that are like, you know, got the seaweed brushed up on the shore. But it just, it reminds me of that. And also in some ways, it reminds me of Center Island here in Toronto. Only because I reviewed this one with Chad Secrets back in the fall. I think it was the first official day of autumn that we reviewed this one. But it reminds me of the island as well because it's super relaxing. So Center Island can get quite busy in the summertime, so I avoid it like the plague. But it, it's a great place to visit. It's a great, it's, and it's just very relaxing. So is this fragrance. Longevity, unfortunately, is not the best. It's like three to five hours tops. And that price tag, that performance should be a lot more. Because of this channel is pretty much about the affordability, let's talk about Hollister Free Wave. This is actually a really nice scent. The brand itself is more for like the younger guys out there, but I personally think that this is pretty much like an ageless fragrance. 
This scent does remind me of Florida. And I'm not just like saying all this guys, like, you know, for the video, but it does remind me of Florida because I originally reviewed this one on uh, St. Augustine's Beach. So back in February, and I wish that the video turned out, but the audio, oh God, and it was perfect. It's just me and, and technology, we don't mix, but this fragrance does remind me of St. Augustine's. Like just the, the waves, like the Atlantic Ocean that was crashing in the background, but you're gonna get citruses, musk, there's definitely like the, the salty marine take. There's ambergris to add a little bit of an animalistic type of feel. There is driftwood on top of that. And this is like 20 bucks. You can probably get this for like 12 to $25 USD. And you could pick this up everywhere in the States. Ross, TJ Maxx, Burlington, all those types of stores. And I actually ended up getting mine, I originally thought it was the States. I got it in Montreal, Montreal, Quebec. I got it at either Marshalls or Winners. But yeah, I think it's a great solid fragrance. And it's not just for the young guys out there. Us old farts could rock this as well. And last but not least, let's finish it off with a niche, but some people will say that this is more high-end designer, and I could see both sides. The price tag is niche though, and it's definitely overpriced. The, the brand, and I am the self-proclaimed Bond bitch, but Bond number nine, Shelter Island. This very much, like this one here, has a beautiful green salty seaweed. It's got a lot of musk, sandwood, myrrh, amber. It's got white lily to add a little bit of a a little bit of a white floral component and what makes this quite unique is the oud. Oud for me is more of a colder season note, whether it's autumn or winter, but in this it's done quite nicely. The oud is prevalent, but it's not like a dirty skanky type of oud. It's a little smoky, so you're gonna get that smoky woody burning nuance with like the white floral in that green salty seaweed, which is just so unusual. It's a very unique fragrance in my opinion. Bond number no. nine produces a lot of mass appealing fragrances, a lot of fragrances that are unisex, but generally leans more towards the ladies. In my opinion, because of that oud note, this leans more towards the guys for a change. But ladies, you can absolutely rock this. As long as you don't mind a bit of an, an oud type of fragrance, you might want to look into it, but this for a guy fragrance, it's not really a bad boy, but it's more of a modern day gentleman type of fragrance. You have to be all about manners maketh man with this one here. And guys, that is my five great recommendations for sea salty marine fragrances for the summer of 2024. Any reviews that I've done on these, and I've talked about all of them, minus this one here, unfortunately, gonna have to redo that one, but they will all be down in the description box below. If you wanna see last year's or the year before, again, I can't remember which one, check out right here. And if you wanna see a great Lily fragrance video, check out right here. And if you like this very video, please leave me one of these. I thank you for the time, take care, and I will see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody.